do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos so the above reaction which is present on the screen is an unbalanced equation which is we have to balance it in a basic medium but by using the ion electron method so let us do it but the first of all the thing that we should do is to determine the oxidation number so i could name the first step as step number one as determination of oxidation number so let me consider the first reactant in this case is clo minus so the overall oxidation number of this one is minus one so therefore i could write it as cn which is present one times plus one times of oxy and the ultimate charge which is present on the molecule is minus one so suppose in this case what i have to find out is for oxy or for cl in this case we could get very much confused but the thing that we should observe is which atom is been common so in this case cl is been common which is present on left hand side which is also present on the right hand side so in this case in spite of knowing the oxidation number of both we are going to think or we are going to execute the oxidation number of one only so in this case i am going to find it out the oxidation number of chlorine so x plus the oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2 so therefore i could get it as x is equals to 1 so this is the first oxidation uh, number of the reactant that we have calculated now let's move toward the second one that is CrOH four times for CrOH four times minus the overall oxidation number is minus one therefore I could write it as one into Cr plus four into OH which is equals to minus one so now I could consider the oxidation number of chromium as X therefore 4 into minus 1 which will be x is equals to minus 1 plus 4 x is equals to 3 so this value is for the oxidation number of chromium in CrOH 4 times minus is 3 plus so this well for the reactants now let's move towards the product one that is CrO4 twice. So CrO4 2 minus. In this case, I could write it as 1 into Cr that is chromium plus 4 into oxygen. I could write it as oxy and overall charge is minus 2. Therefore, x plus 4 into minus 2, which will give an answer of x is equals to plus 6. Therefore, the chromium has an oxidation number in CrO4 2 minus is plus 6 so this is how we have calculated the oxidation number of reactant as well as product in case of product there is only mention of cn minus which is ultimately we could say it as minus 1 now let's move towards the second step so i would name the second step as determination of oxidation and reduction in this case if we observe that the chromium which is present in hydroxy form which has been converted into CrOH4 minus is been converted into CrO4 2 minus which would be which reaction in which we have observed that the chromium which has got the oxidation number of 3 plus is been converted into an oxidation number of 6 plus so the oxidation number is been increasing so therefore in this case the oxidation number which increases will give a process of oxidation 
but we observe about chlorine that is cl o minus which is converting into cl minus in this case the oxidation number of chlorine was found to be 1 but it has been converted into minus 1 which means it has been taking electrons and taking of electrons is nothing but reduction so this has been clear that we have calculated that which one is oxidation and which one is reduction so now let us do the step number 3 in which we could get an idea that how much electrons are being gained and how much electrons are being lost during the process so the step number 3 would be gain and loss of electron during oxidation and during reduction so in this case the first reaction that we have got that is for oxidation in which CrOH4- is been converted into CrO4-2- so this was an oxidation reaction but we have also been get an idea that this 3 plus is been converting into this 6 plus so the number of electrons that are being lost in this case is 3 because 3 is been converting into 6 so therefore it has to give more 3 electrons then only it will be converted into uh, oxidation number of 6 plus so therefore it will give an 3 electrons but when we observe it for the reduction process in which we have observed that ClO- is been converted into Cl- minus. in this case if we can see the 3 electrons which are been accepted during or that are been gained during uh, oxidation are not the same as it is accepted by the in reduction process as we can see the oxidation number of Cl in ClO- which was found to be 1 is now converted into minus 1 which means the number of electrons that are being gained is 2 how suppose if positive 1 oxidation state takes 1 electron then it will convert into 0 and if that 0 will take an oxidation uh, number of minus 1 means 1 electron more has been accepted so overall 2 electrons are being accepted during reduction if we observe that the number of electrons lost and the number of electrons gained are not equal so the number of electrons lost is not equals to the number of electron gained so both can be equalized if this equation will be multiplied or this number of electrons are multiplied by 3 and this number of electrons are multiplied by 2 so by equating this thing the overall equation can also be changed so therefore what we are going to do is we are going to multiply 2 with the oxidation one and we are going to multiply 3 by the reduction one so let us write it so multiplying 2 for oxidation and multiplying 3 for reduction so because of which we could get a another half reaction which is now been balanced with electrons as 2 times of CrOH4 minus that should be give that should give us 2 times of CrO4 2 minus plus 3 into 2 which makes 6 electron and this is an oxidation process and the next one will be where I have to multiply by 3 for the reduction one so therefore 3 times of ClO minus plus 6 electrons will give me 3 times of Cl minus so this is reduction so if I take an overall reaction then I could find that this 6 electrons and this electrons can be cancelled out because the both are being balanced in an oxidation as well as in redox reaction so I could equate this to equation and I'll get an equation uh, the balanced equation as 2 times CrOH4- plus 3 times that of ClO- that should give us 
टू टाइम्स सी आर ओ फोर टू माइनस प्लस थ्री टाइम्स सी एल माइनस this is been balanced with electrons but is not been balanced with number of oxygen and number of hydrogen so let us balance that too so i'm taking the next step as step number 4 balancing oxygen atoms i would consider the reaction which was been balanced as it is just by increasing the number of hydrogen which are present on left hand side or which are present on the right hand side so if i observe then i could see that the number of oxygen which is present on left hand side is 4 to the 8 plus 3 11 while the number of oxygen atoms which are present on the right hand side are 4 to the 8 so therefore i could write it as number of oxygen on left hand side and number of oxygen on right hand side as on right hand side it was found to be 8 while in case of the left hand side it was found to be 11 so therefore there was a deficiency or there is a deficiency of 3 oxygen on the uh, right hand side so therefore i'll add 3 times of h2 on right hand side so eventually i'll get an answer as eventually I'll, i could get an answer as 2 times cr oh 4 minus plus 3 times cl o minus that should give us 2 times cr o 4 2 minus plus 3r cl minus but in this case i have mentioned that i have to add three times of h2 on right hand side so therefore i am adding three times of h2 on right hand side so this is the equation that i have been balanced with the help of oxygen atoms but this is not the step the last step the last step will be the maintaining the balance between the hydrogen atoms so i am moving towards the next one that is step number 5 which is balancing hydrogen atoms and if i observe in the last reaction or i could see that the number of hydrogen atoms which are present on the left hand side were 8 while that on the right hand side were 6 so what i have to do is i have to add the number of hydrogen which is deficient where it is in deficiency so in this case i could see that since the number of electrons or uh, sorry so since the number of hydrogen atoms are less on the right hand side and also that by two hydrogen so therefore i will add two times of h plus on the right hand side of this equation so i could get the answer as two times cr oh 4 minus plus 3 cl o minus that should have given us two times cr o 4 2 minus plus 3 cl minus plus 3 times h2 plus 2 times of h plus but since the overall reaction should be in basic medium so what i'll do is i will going to neutralize this uh, h plus sign so this will give me an equation like 2 times cr oh 4 minus plus 3 cl o minus plus 2 times cr o4 2 minus plus 3 cl minus plus 3 times h2 plus 2 times h plus plus 2 times oh minus and this oh minus should be maintained on both the side so therefore plus 2 times oh minus on the left hand side also so this will make an equation where this 3 times h2 will be added with this 2 times h2 will make 5 times h2 and ultimately i could get an answer as 2 times cr oh 4 minus plus 3 cl o minus plus 2 oh minus ion that should give me 2 cr o 4 2 minus plus 3 cl minus plus 5 h2o so this is the overall answer or overall balanced equation that i have got by 
doing the help of uh, oxidation number method as well as uh, by the method of uh, ion electron method so i hope you have got uh, to know that how to solve this so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have liked and you will share with your friends too and uh, don't forget to subscribe ekda channel thank you so much